Since the introduction of vaping devices, teens are smoking now more than ever before. With kid-friendly flavors like strawberry, grape, and bubblegum, nicotine addiction has become a serious problem. But it's not just nicotine. Since most kids are using vape pens to get high, THC oil, which is extracted from marijuana, is the drug of choice for kids these days. When we look at kids who have had lung injury related to vaping, the majority of those children had anxiety and depression. And they will say that they were trying to treat their anxiety or depression with vaping. It's tough being in the middle of, the, of a pandemic, potentially going to school from home, not knowing what the next few months are gonna look like. And kids have said that they're feeling a lot more anxious and depressed lately. Part of the issue with vaping is, if one vapes at a younger age, they may have issues with other addictions later on. Sometimes kids might be vaping or using e-cigarettes. They know it's bad, they want to quit, but they just haven't had anyone to tell that to. Start the conversation by asking your child what they know about vaping. Be familiar with words that teens and young adults use when they're talking about vaping. Doctors at Children's Minnesota have expertise in having these conversations with teenagers. You want to avoid trying to lecture your kids. They probably already know that vaping could be harmful for them. You want to give a sense of trust so that they can be honest with you. Kids who vape are good kids. They may be dealing with stress, anxiety, and this is one of the things that they've decided to try to see if it helps. Vaping is a serious problem for kids, and here at Children's Minnesota, we are serious about stopping it. But we need your help. Visit this site to learn more.